Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to install themes to your Wii U. Now this is actually really simple and really straightforward, so let's just jump straight into it. Now that we're on the computer, there's actually only two websites that we're going to be using here, and I'll leave a link in the description below for everything that I'm going to be using here today. Uh, the first site, for the users.org, we're just going to go to search, we're going to type in theme, and you're going to see theme me right here. And we're just going to hit download. This is basically, uh, I believe it's a version of SD Caffeine, if I'm not mistaken, but just allows you to run these files. Now, this program as well holds the themes, so now we have to actually select the themes. On GBA Temp, there's actually a kind of small selection of theme colors. Uh, really, it's all changes. It's nothing like on the Wii where you could actually add pictures and incorporate different things. Not to this level anyways. Um, like I said, most of it's just color changes. This one is uh, purple, dark blue, which is what I showed you guys in the beginning here. Uh, we got red, green, I actually like green, but continuing on with this, you, you get the point, there's a lot of colors here. Make sure the theme that you're downloading is uh, safe, because installing a theme, you do have a potential risk to break your console. If you don't have a backup of your NAND, I recommend making one. Uh, just go ahead and I'm going to click the green here, get this green theme. Now all I have to do is just download right up top. And that's it, now we just got to structure our SD card. So if I open up the SD in our downloads folder here, what I'm going to do first is extract everything that we just downloaded. Just right click and hit extract to, right click extract to, and now we can delete the zips. That leaves us with theme me and our theme. So opening up theme me, you're going to see we have a Wii U folder here. Open that up. We got an apps folder open that up and we have theme me so now on our SD card on the root you're gonna go down to Wii U your own Wii U folder open that up go into the apps folder and you're gonna drag theme me right into there now we're just gonna back up back up again and back up again now that we're in here we're gonna back up one folder in our SD as well and uh, on the root folder of the Wii U you're gonna right click create a new folder and call it themes and just so there's no confusion on the root of your SD card when you open up your Wii U folder there will now be a folder called themes right in there inside of here is where we're gonna paste our theme so we have the dark Wii U theme lime green I'm just gonna open it see what it looks like yeah so we have an SD caffeine folder open that up open this up open this up we're gonna get all the way to the very end where you see men.pack and men2.pack so inside of your theme folder, all you got to do is right click, create a new folder, and just name this the theme. I'm just going to call this green theme. You guys can name it whatever you'd like. Inside of that, you're going to throw your men.pack and men2.pack. And it's really as simple as that. So now we're going to take the SD card out and head over to the Wii U. Okay, now that we're on the Wii U, you want to make sure you have your custom firmware already enabled. For me, that's Teramisu, so that's already on. Next, we're going to go to the Homebrew Launcher, so I'm going to activate the Mii Maker. Just give this a second to load up. And once we're inside here, we're going to look for Theme Me, And you can see it's right here on the bottom. Just open that up and hit load. You're going to get a warning that installing themes is dangerous, like I said earlier, and you have the chance of breaking your system. Now on here it's going to tell you select a theme and we see our green theme. We do not want to select that yet. In the corner you're going to see R backup current theme. So you're going to hit the R button on your Wii U gamepad. And what this is going to do is back up your current main theme in case you ever want to return to it for whatever reason. Because once, it, once we selected the green theme here it could potentially be gone until you find a way to replace it. But now it's backed up, that should be all set. So all we have to do now is just hit the A button for green theme. And it's gonna copy the men pack. Takes maybe 30 seconds, it says theme installed, but I believe it performs checks as well. Yeah, checking men pack. And we're all set, so I'm gonna hit the home button and let's return to our main menu. And there we go, we got the green and black and it looks pretty nice. Green's actually my favorite color. 
So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all this is. It's just cosmetics. Uh, if you turn your system off and back on, it will still be here. It won't disappear. And for most of you who may have done themes in older way through SD Caffeine, you'd have to activate the theme every time you activate SD Caffeine. Uh, but that's not the case. So this is permanent until you switch it back. And switching it back is the same exact thing. So let's just switch back over to the Theme Me application. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys while we're in here that we now have a separate folder called Backup. If you were like me and you hit the R button in the beginning, you'll now have that Backup folder. All you have to do to switch it back to normal is just hit the A button again and let it do its thing for a little bit. And from here, just hit Home again and we'll check out that main menu. And here we are, back to normal. Easy as that. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any problems or any concerns, feel free to let me know down in the comments. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.